Hello everyone, welcome back to Nitin Academy and I'm Nitin. And today in PSLE Science 2018 paper, I'll be going through booklet A, which tests us on multiple choice questions, okay? So today I'll be going through question 28 and this is actually the last question of this paper booklet A, all right? So let's take a look at it. Okay, so this is question 28. So let's read the question first. Eugene used the setup below to find out the time taken for a bob to make one swing. The bob makes one swing when it moves from A to B and back to A. So A to B and back to A. He conducted four experiments. He did not change the size of the bobs and the type of strings. His results are shown below. Alright, so this is the experiment results. So basically, experiment A, okay, sorry, let's read the question, okay? Which two experiments support the hypothesis, the longer the string, the longer the time taken for one swing? Okay, so they're asking us which two experiments support the hypothesis, meaning that, and they're talking about the length of the string, right? So let's take a look at all the experiments first. So experiment A the mass of the bob is actually 3 units and the length of the string is actually 8, okay? So the time taken for one swing is actually 9 units. And for B, the mass is actually 4 units and the length of the string is actually 14 units, right? And the time taken for one swing is actually 12 units, okay? So this, these two uh, experiments can't be the right one because the mass is already different. In order for us to uh, test something right, we need to have everything else needs to be constant except the thing that we are actually looking, uh, except the independent variable, in this case, which is the length of the string. Alright, so for us, the mass of the bob needs to be the same. So experiments C and D, actually the mass of the bobs are the same, right? Five units each. So this is right. And the length of the string, at start it was 18, the time taken is 9, and then for experiment D is 20, the length of the string, and the time taken for one swing is 14. So as you can see, C and D should be the right option, right? Because as you can see, the longer the string, the longer the time taken for one swing. So you can see that this is actually shorter swing, right? And it's actually shorter time, right? And this is actually longer swing, right? Uh, longer string, right? And this is a longer time taken. So C and D are the right are the right two experiments. It can't be A and B, B and C, D and A, anything like that, okay? So A and B is wrong, A and C is wrong, B and D is wrong, and C and D is correct. So the answer is actually four, option four, okay? So I hope you understood my explanation for this question, question 28, testing us on the type of variables and tests, and fair tests basically, right? Uh, this is totally testing us on fair test because the mass of the bob needs to be the same in order for us to test for the longer the string, the longer the time taken for one swing, like one swing, okay? So with that, I hope you've understood my explanation for this question, question 28, which is the last question of this paper. And generally, this booklet A for 2018 paper was actually generally very simple and easy. So you should be able to get 54 or 56 for this paper, okay? So I hope you understood this question. And with that, I've, I'm ending my video here. Thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!